Hey everybody, so we are in my studio and we've decided to do some copy work today. And I just wanted to show you the stand and what we're doing over here. Um, what happened is I had a uh, special piece of glass made. I gotta find it here. It's right here. I'll show it to you later. But anyways, this is Auntie Jill and we are here to do some photo work, some photocopy work. We have a lot of uh, old photographs from, what is it, Auntie Jill? Uh, the 182nd Division F Company, Massachusetts National Guard. <clears throat> Which my uncle was part of. So we found all these wonderful panoramas in a box and we decided that it's time to copy them and uh, we have a stand all set up and I'm going to tell you all about what we're doing. So right now I'm off and we'll meet you on the next clip. All right so I'm going to show you a little bit what we're doing here is I had this piece of glass uh, made from my frame company and it just lifts up like this and the end of it over here is connected. So I have a white block that is here and um, the block is holding the piece of glass on it. Now what I tried to do is I tried to find a space that was available light with no uh, sun in it and what happened is we've been going along during the day and you catch the sun so you have to keep moving the box. So we're going to take this box. It's all available light. You'll see my light stands, but the lights aren't on. And it's all available light. And we have to just make sure that the sun is not on the picture. So this piece of glass was made specifically for this one picture because this is the longest picture of all. Uh, I have no idea what the size is. Now, when you're taking the photograph, you have to remember that we don't want any... Um, pretty even light. So here is my tripod and the camera is not on my tripod. I have a grip. The grip, I like the grip, but what happens is it gets loose and you have to have a special key. And right now it's loose, so I do not trust myself to put uh, the camera onto the tripod and leave it up there. So for each shot, I'm gonna take the camera and I use a Nikon. Um, I have a couple of Nikons. I started in filming the Nikon. This is a 7100, S7100, and it's a Tamron lens, and it is on manual focus. I'm gonna show you all about that, all right? And it's a 24 to 78, I guess you can't see it, 24 to 78, and it's a Tamron lens. I like it because it's a great zoom. All right, so I will be back. So what I'm showing you here is the back of my camera. You can see that it's on 25, all right, at f2.8 at 400. And what I did was I put the live mode on over here. This is the live mode, so that I can see the back of the camera. And what I did was I put it in thirds so that I would have a grid to be able to adjust my camera. Whoops, my grip is not very tight, so it will fall. So I adjust my grip so that you can see the line okay that the line is even now I have to put my widest angle on you'll see it's on the wider angle I have plenty of room around the sides the bottom over here looks even to the line okay and I've been shooting all along this morning you'll see the light starting to come in so we're gonna have to move the box again in a few minutes but I'm on raw so that I can always adjust it and I'm going to take for focusing I'm going to touch this plus button okay and the plus button is going to come way in here like this all right and now what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to be able to focus this so I'm going to show you on another clip the focusing mechanism that I use for this okay so remember this plus button Okay, then when I go back, after I focus it, it's going to go back to regular. I'm going to take off the live button, 
and then I'm going to shoot. All right, so we'll explain that to you again in a minute. All right, so I have a pocket just to be able to hold some stuff in, and I have a loop. A loop is a magnifying glass, and what I'm going to do is, remember I told you that I'm, I have it on live view, L-I-V-E, and then I'm going to push the, pre the plus button to get it in nice and close, okay? And I'm going to try to get it in focus because we put it on manual focus. Now, once I get it in focus, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to use my loop, and I have to really be careful here. We don't want to fall down, go boom, and make sure it's in focus. That's about as good as I can get. Now I'm going to press it minus, which will bring it back to my regular grid, and we're ready to shoot. And I'm going to shoot what I have it set up for. If you have a cable, that's great, but I don't have a cable set up. So I had just shot at 25 at f2.8. What I'm going to do is I'm going to up the shutter speed a little bit to 40 and shoot another one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of look at it because they call that, I think they call it chimping or something like that to make sure that I got it. And I got it. And that's our setup. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this big picture off and roll it back up and start with the next one. So I just kind of thought I would show you our little system here. So what we do is we're going to lift this up, take out the picture you just shot. So we've done about, I'd say 20, 20 of them so far. But that was the biggest one, and I wanted to show you how big I made this specifically for that. But I now have this for my copy work. If you ever need copy work done, now you also understand why it's so expensive. So we close this up. We're all set. Have it nice and smooth. We make sure that we're even here. And then I want to shoot it, that there's no light coming in, and that's the next step. We're back to shooting. So, there you go. Hi, okay, so I'm back again. So I have my camera mounted on the tripod, and I always take the strap and put it somewhere in case it falls down, okay, and now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you if uh, you see this is my tripod and here's the right down here is the picture okay it's still an available light and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you um, go on to the next clip so you can hi okay so now I'm about to hi <laughs> I'm about to take a picture of another panorama and I just wanted to reiterate that I have my camera on a grid so I can line up the photograph with one of the lines. I had to pull my tripod back a little bit because um, I uh, don't want to get the legs of the tripod in the photograph. So, and you want to be able to look down as straight as you possibly can so you don't have any distortion. If I have distortion, I'm not worried about it. I'm not a perfectionist. I'm far from being a perfectionist. So, what we're going to do is I have it all set up. It's in RAW, and it is at 400 ASA, or ISO, when we had film, we used to call it ASA. And the shutter speed is at 140th, and it's at F2.8. I don't need a lot of depth of field. I just felt that I was using available light. And so I don't need depth of field because it's only one photograph. F2.8 doesn't give you a lot of depth of field, but the lighting is better. I've done a lot of copy work and I've used my studio lights, but I just find that, find that this is set up. I just put that white box. I had to let it hang out and put another pile on top of it to tell you the truth is what I've been doing. But I finally got somebody to help me. And I, it makes a big difference having someone help you because it's, it's hard for me to set the photograph up 
get back up on the, on the ladder, focus everything. So we've been doing it together and it's worked out really good. I'm extremely lucky because all the photographs are of my uncle uh, from when? 1919. From 1919 is when it started. And it's the, the uh, 126th Infantry. 126th Infantry. F Company. F Company. Massachusetts National Guard. Massachusetts National Guard. And my uncle, Archie. <laughs> Archie McLaughlin, was at the final point in his life, was a somebody with a lot of medals. Yeah. Was he a major? He was a major. He was a major, right. So these photographs are of all different companies from he was when really young. We have a yearbook also to photograph. So it's now, I'm not even sure what time it is. Um, what, what time, do you know what time it is? We started a couple of hours ago and we've just been rolling along. 12.30. It's 12.30, we start about 10.30, so it's two hours. We've, we've got a lot of it done now, but it is a lot better when you have somebody to help you. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that this is all lined up. Remember we talked about this, it's on live view. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the focusing in closer to uh, uh, the plus sign, get it in nice and close so I can see the people in there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus it. Remember it's on manual focus. And I'm gonna see if that's about, first what I do is I throw it out of focus and then I put it back into focus. So it's very hard because it's such a big photograph. There's not a lot of focusing even in the photograph. Some of them are out of focus already. And then I'm gonna look at it again to fine tune it. And that was pretty good to me. Now I'm gonna put the minus button to make sure that I didn't move the camera because very often I move the camera. I have a lot of space around the photograph. I always take more space than what I need because what's going to happen is you're going to crop it and sometimes the cropping doesn't come out right. So you can always, uh, you can always take away from a photo, but you can't add to a photo if you didn't take the picture with all the room around it. So remember that. And also remember an eight by 10 cropping is different than a five by seven. It's also different than an eight by 12. An eight by 12 is usually what the whole camera will photograph. And then you go and you order an eight by 10 and you cut someone's head off because you were too, too close. So always remember to give yourself a lot of room because that always works better. So now I'm going to photograph one photo and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the f-stop. Now remember I have it on raw so that gives me a little bit of um, leeway. Now I'm going to go to uh, a 20th, 120th and it really should have you know one of those cords but it doesn't. So there I go. So we are done with this part, and thank you very much. And we're going to do another clip, baby, but we're almost done. Hope you learned something. I just want to show you my tripod. It's a Bogan, and it's a, a sturdy, very good. I think it's one of the best. I don't know. Everybody's got their own options. It's a handle grip. So I just grip it, I tighten it, squeeze it, and it'll move anywhere I want it to go but they end up running out uh, they have a little level down in here you can tell whether you're whether you're whether you're uh, level or not and it also has an adjuster right here it's a little red button and I don't have the tool the tool is right down here there's a little screw and I don't have that tool that tightens it so I have to bring it somewhere get somebody who has it Sanford camera is where I go all the time for my camera I'm just not sure whether they actually let me take my my um, <clears throat> mask down I don't know if they have the tool but they they adjust a lot of stuff but I also like about this for the copy work is this piece here it's got a little screw okay you, this can come off let me 
see if I can, if it's loose enough. So this can come off like this, all right, and it can go inside to make a copy stand. Goes right up through here. I'm trying to do two things at once. I don't chew gum and what is it? Chew gum and walk at the same time. There we go. So if I tighten it up, by the way, I'm using my GoPro to show you how this works. So I tighten it up and and here you go. You can put the camera right down here. So it's copying for another copy copy group. So what we're gonna do is we're all done. I'm all done with this video for you and the sun's really coming in right now and what we're going to do um, to finish up our job is we have two more things that we're not going to show you how we do it it's the same thing but we have this is really cool it's a medal which my uncle won for a tug of war cool huh and then the other thing we have okay is a book <clears throat> which is when they all came home from war, it talked 25 cents. They talk about all their, here are their names, okay. but the photographs of them coming home from war, their stories, um, and pictures, lots of pictures, when they stopped in a rest area. Um, it's actually such a very historical book. And so we're going to photograph that book. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give it to the museum. My mom already gave quite a few to a Watertown Historical Society. So this is what we have left over and we're all finished. Yay! Bye everybody. Thank you.